Um, I was excited. I was, you know, felt like I was ready for the moment. Uh, I felt like I've been through so much and, and God has put me in this position for that exact moment and it just wasn't our night. Like, there's really no way around it. It just wasn't our night. Um, all three phases of the game, you know, they ran the ball well. Uh, they stopped us while we were on offense and they just, they just beat us. Look guys, Odell Beckham Jr.'s first game while donning an LA Rams jersey could have not got off to a worse start. And I'm already anticipating Skip Bayless's rant on Undisputed talking about how Odell ruined the chemistry on this Rams offense. This was clearly the Rams' worst game all season and one of Stafford's worst of his career as he started the game by throwing two consecutive picks that handicapped the team early on. Run it back. Before we continue, guys, I am doing a PS5 giveaway, and all you need to do to enter is be subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on. So, Beckham barely featured in the 31-10 loss to San Francisco, which was understandable considering he was only given a few days to practice with this new offense. The receiver finished the game recording two catches for 18 yards off of three targets, and I'm pretty sure this is what the media is going to focus on in all the debate shows. That and the first failed target, which was by far the most memorable moment that blew up on Twitter. Odell on a broken up play ended up cutting his route short while Stafford threw a deep pass that got intercepted. This was clearly a case of miscommunication between the pair and it's going to take them a couple games to get in sync. Many were probably expecting a similar debut to the 2007 Tom Brady and Randy Moss connection where Randy caught all 9 of his passes for a buck 83 and a TD. However that tandem had a whole offseason and a minicamp to get to know one another. Anyways, we should start seeing Odell easing his way into the offense and begin to see more snaps, especially with a season-ending injury to Robert Woods. That being said, I think a more pressing concern for the Rams is the quarterback play of Matthew Stafford who's looked kinda shaky as of late. And yesterday's game marks the second consecutive two interception game from Stafford and with the loss of Robert Woods in the Rams offense, McVay and company are going to have to figure out a way to compensate for the loss of their veteran wide receiver who did a lot more than just catching the ball. <laughs> 